हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ कंस्टेंट मोशन वेयर देर इज अ ब्लॉक व्हिच इज मूविंग विद वेलोसिटी वी नॉट एंड ए रॉड व्हिच इज हिंज्ड एट वन एंड ऑन द टेबल एंड अदर पार्ट इज लाइंग ऑन द ब्लॉक सो एज द ब्लॉक मूव्स द रॉड विल रोटेट ए ब्लॉक ऑफ हाइट एच मूव्स विद ए कॉन्स्टेंट वेलॉसिटी वी नॉट ऑन ए हॉर्जेंटल टेबल A rod is pivoted at one end, fixed to a hinge on the table. Here is the hinge, and the other end rests on the block as shown here. Find the angular velocity of the rod when it makes angle theta with the horizontal. Right. As you can see, that uh, the rod will make angle theta with the horizontal like this. and the block is moving with velocity v not as the block moves rightwards uh, this end uh, touching the rod the rod will actually coming down so the rod is rotating like this clockwise omega is angular velocity and definitely this angular velocity is related to this angle theta because as theta decreases the rod gets angular velocity as d theta by dt in fact not d theta by dt but a minus d theta by dt let's put a minus sign here Minus sign is coming here because the angle theta is decreasing. So minus d theta by dt would be the angular velocity of the rod. Uh, also, it is said in the question that block has height h. So let us indicate here a height h. Obviously, the height h is a constant value here. Now, how can we relate this velocity v not with the distance traveled here? You see, suppose from the hinge, if I take the distance of the block till here as x distance. So as the block moves rightwards with velocity v not, this x is going to increase. So the rate of increase of x is the velocity v not. Therefore, we can say that dx by dt is actually equal to v not. and uh, the rate of decrease of angle theta minus d theta by dt is the angular velocity of the rod and h is a constant here now we can clearly see that a triangle is forming here a right triangle and in this right triangle one can write down relation between h x and theta definitely it is h divided by x is equal to tan theta so we can say that uh, x is equal to h divided by tan theta or h into cot theta now we differentiate this equation on both sides with respect to time dx by dt is equal to h into the differentiation of cot theta d by dt of cot theta now this left hand side dx by dt as we have written here is velocity v not and uh, h is a constant as it is and the d by dt of cot theta differentiation of cot theta is minus cosec square theta and because we are differentiating using the chain rule because uh, cot theta is a function of theta but we are differentiating with respect to another variable t therefore we must multiply here d theta by dt now substitute the value Minus sine h and the cosec square theta. You can take a reciprocal and write down in the denominator as sine square theta. And d theta by dt is nothing but minus omega. So here we can say minus of omega. Now minus minus become plus here. Minus minus become plus, and the required answer angular velocity is equal to v not by h and multiplied by sine square theta. This is the answer of the question. Uh, one important point to note regarding the answer is that the linear velocity of the block is constant given the question so definitely v not by h is also constant but uh, angle theta is going to change therefore the angular velocity is not constant